This is Gracie. I'm keeping her for a couple of weeks. She's a good girl. She loves me. Okay. Get your ass over there and sit down. Oh. Sweet little puppy. That puppy belongs to a friend of mine, an expat friend of mine named Mike, and he's in the States for a couple of weeks, and I've been blessed with the privilege of doggy sitting. That's the sweetest little dog I've ever seen in my life. Her name is Gracie. This is a QA. I am here to answer questions that you have written. And as soon as I come back, we'll get started with Michael P's questions and Don Shader's answers. Be right back. Hey. Oh, Rocket Chick. Hello there. Got questions from Michael P. Here we go. Uh, hello, Don. Hope you had a great Christmas and Happy New Year. You can tell I'm a little behind on this. This is dated January the 2nd. Sorry, Michael. I've been busy, okay? But I want to try to answer these as quickly as I can and as thoroughly as I can. I've been watching your videos shortly after you started them, and you have been so helpful to everyone answering their questions and not giving advice, just stating how you did it. I have a couple questions that I hope you can help with. First question, using Google Voice. Don't tell me. Not another Google Voice question. I thought we were done with this. Using Google Voice. From what I've read and watched on it, you are not able to get text. T-E-X-T-S. Why do you think that, Michael? Michael, where did you, where did you get that? I'll, go ahead. I'll wait. Hmm. Okay, yeah, nothing. Okay, yeah. Uh, be sure and tell Google that you can't text on Google Voice. I'm sure they'll be interested in hearing. And I have to... I have to silence everything now because I forgot to do that before I started this video. People texting me and ding and WhatsApp and ding, ding, ding. So anyway... Yes, you can text on Google Voice. Remember, Google Voice, when you port a phone number over to Google Voice, it's the same thing. You're, instead of having it AT&T or T-Mobile or Verizon, it's now at Google Voice. You can send a text message to your phone number that's ported at Google Voice. And guess what? Google Voice will send you an email with your little text message in it. And then you can go log in on your computer. You can log in to Google Voice and see the text message. Simple as that. Okay? But yes, you can. It, there's, uh, that's how, you know, you get your messages from the bank when they send you the little, you know, six-digit code. You know, that's how you get those. Question number two. You stated in one of your videos to bring small bills and such, but I know this is a subjective question. How much cash would be appropriate to bring? On first arrival, you have to get from the airport, like Waikil to Monta. Then you have taxis, phone, Claro, like getting your Claro phone like I did, and miscellaneous other expenses. They say I can use my Fidelity card to get more cash after I'm in, I am there, like you do with your Swab card. Is yours a debit card or a credit card? According to their website, international transactions fees are reimbursed, and you cannot be in this video. You have to sit down there. So, to answer your question, uh, I brought $1,000 with me, okay? And I brought it in 20s, 10s, 5s, and 1s, all right? It, if you're, of course, I mean, I came by myself, so that's all I needed. And that was plenty. ATM machines are everywhere, so it's easy to get money from your account in the States, okay? I use Swab. I have a Swab debit card. It's a Visa debit card. And... By the way, since I am on with Swab, all of my ATM fees are reimbursed at the end of the month. Folks, don't bring $2 bills, and don't bring $100 bills or $50 bills. You can spend them here. There are vendors and companies and restaurants and stuff, Mega Maxi, they'll take your big bills, but you're going to have to basically document where it came from. They're going to take pictures of it. They're going to get a picture of your passport or your cedula, it's a hassle. Just don't do it. Just keep those big bills 
in the bank and come with your smaller bills, okay? Uh, I think that answered all your questions. How much guys have managed them? Okay. Uh, question number three. When you set up your hotel reservation, did you use Booking.com or Expedia? No, I didn't use them. I, 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 I booked my hotel at the uh, YKL Holiday Inn. When you see, here's the pictures. When you walk out of the baggage claim at the Wykill Airport, you go down a sidewalk, go across a big parking lot, up another sidewalk, go over this other sidewalk, and you're at the Holiday Inn. Very nice hotel. Probably, what's well, the nicest hotel I've been in since I've been in Ecuador. Now I think about it, it's the only hotel I've been in, but it's a very nice hotel. It's right there at the airport. And how did I book it? I booked it online while I was in the States. And then when I showed up, I don't think they even took a guarantee from me, but when I showed up in Wykill, then I just gave them my swab debit card, and that's how I paid for the room. Simple as that. You said, when you set up your hotel resume, and book it, or did you work with the hotel itself? So, like I just said, I did it all online. Here's the link for Holiday Inns, okay? Right here, up there, okay? You can... Log on to their website and book your hotel for this hotel. It's right here in, in Waikil. I already watched your video on where to stay around Montana, and we'll use that to pick a hotel or a hostel. There's lots of hostels here. There's the thing about hotels in Monta, folks. I got to remind you that you know Monta is like I've said before. It's a pretty noisy city. There, there's two really big major hotels here. Here's the Oro Verde. That's O R O B E R D E, Oro Verde. They're located right here in Marcia Lago, right here on the beach. It's a nice hotel. It's right across the street from the mall. It's not the cheapest hotel around, but it's not that expensive either. I, I guess that's up to one's opinion. But anyway, I, you know, it's it's relatively quiet unless they have a party at the hotel and then they sometimes shoot fireworks but they turn it all down you know at a reasonable hour at night the problem with the other hotel which is the Wyndham it's in Barbaskill and Barbaskill is known as a pretty noisy area especially on the weekend with all the street parties that go on and the cars with their boom boxes and their loud big speakers and that whole area where Mykonos, Wyndham, the Poseidon, all those, that whole area there, if you're going to be there over the weekends, you better bring some headphones, earplugs, unless you're just a really solid sleeper, you're going to have a tough time, okay? I recently was at Monta Host Hotel, and it's a little bit further off the street from where all these other places are. And it may be a little bit quieter there. It's in the same area. It's a nice hotel. It's called Monta Host. I'll put a link to it uh, in the description. Question number four. I missed getting this question in your pharmacy questions. My wife takes Levoxyl, and it has to be in 88 micrograms. I take Ramifril for blood pressure and easy to me be. Z to me, I don't know how to pronounce it. Here it is, spelled out right here. Uh, I did some initial research for Ramipril and Lavoxyl. It doesn't look like it's available in Ecuador. I used Pill and a Trip website. Here's a link to it right here. I used Pill and a Website to find out, you know, folks, I, you know, I, I guess maybe I should do a separate video. All right, here, here, here's, here's my promise to you, okay, folks. I'm going to create a document, a PDF of primary care positions that I know of, that I either know personally or know of them, and I'm going to put it in Google Docs, and then I'm going to do a little short video, and I'll put a link to that document in Google Docs. When you see that, get their, put their phone number in your WhatsApp and contact these people and tell them that you plan to come here and that you take this medication and that medication and you want to know if it will be available here. And the doctor will tell you, either say, yep, it's available here, or if they say it's not available, then you can ping them and say, what do you recommend? Okay? Now, 
if you try to contact any of these doctors and they don't respond to you, please let me know, okay? I'll, I will see what I can do to help you. There's nothing that pisses me off more than for me to promote a doctor and, and publish their name and their phone numbers and try to send business their way and they don't respond, okay? I let them know how I feel about it too. So let me know if you have any trouble getting a hold of any of these people and they don't respond. You said you have a person that can check with the pharmacy. Well, the person that I used to check with the pharmacies when I did that video, I paid that guy 10 bucks an hour out of my pocket to go because I had a big list of medicine. I can't do that anymore, okay? If you, if, you want, if you want me to do specific research about specific medications, send me an email. Here's my address right here. It's in the description as well. Tell me what you're looking for. Figure out some way to pay me $20, okay? And I'll go high and low and look, search far and near to find out what I can about that medication. Or you can just uh, pull that PDF from Google Docs that I promise that I'm going to put together very quickly and you can contact the doctor yourself and find out. Or you can do your own research on Google and see if you can find it yourself. It's not that hard. Where do you think I get all this information? Me and Google, we like that, we're buddies. And one last thing, I do not have a laptop, that, but I do, but I do use a Mac Mini. Good, can you bring me one? Um, will I be able to find a 24 inch display, preferably used for around $100, maybe? You can check Gringo Post, here's the link right here, okay? You might be able to. I looked on Gringo Post and I saw all kinds of stuff, you know, listed. I saw monitors and everything, but I don't know what you're going to get. I don't know. I, I, I don't know that I would try to find a used one. And if you buy a new one, it's going to cost you. I saw a 24 inch monitor. I couldn't even tell what brand it was. I don't think I could even pronounce it. At the Me store, the M I Me store in the mall. They want. 24 inch monitor they wanted 749 dollars for it i tried to ask the lady what the hell is the deal with this what's why is this 749 bucks of course we couldn't understand each other so i lived at that there's computer stores here i'll put a couple links up for you there's a you know computron.com.ec ec here's the link i'll put the link in the description but here it is right here and then there's a Mac store, Apple store here. Here's a link for it. And you can go on their sites and look around and see what they've got to offer. You may get lucky and find a good deal on a monitor here that some expat is selling. Then you may not. Uh, do you have any recommendations on a driver from Waikil to Monta? Of course. Juan Zambrano. Here's this link right here. Here's his phone number. You can get him a WhatsApp. I'll put a link in the description down below. Talk to him. He can take care of your arrangements for you. He can pick you up. He has somebody in Waikil that can pick you up. I think it's going to cost you around 120 bucks, maybe. Somewhere around in there. I don't really remember for sure. But call him. Tell him that I told you to call him. And you'll have a nice, safe trip to Monta from the airport. Also, any recommendations for a realtor for finding an apartment in Mancha that I can contact soon? Absolutely, Stella Coulter. I did a video with her. Here's her WhatsApp number. No, here's her email address right here. I'm not going to put her WhatsApp number online. Uh, if you don't get her with email, let me know. I kind of know her a little bit, you know. Might have a little, might can, maybe can be able to help you a little bit. So uh, let me know, okay? I'm probably forgetting something, but this is one, one more step to getting there. Hope to see you around August and take you out to breakfast at your favorite place. Thanks for your help for me and others. That is from Michael and, well, I can't say the names, but that's Michael. Michael P. Michael, I'm sorry it took so long to get... To answering your questions but that's what I got okay so that's it for this Q&A I have several more that I'm gonna do here over the next few days 
I started to do one big one, but it would have been an hour long. And so this one here right now, we are at, what, 20, 13 minutes or something like that. So I'll try to keep them short and right to the point. Okay, thanks for watching. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. And if you don't like this video, bite me, okay? Ciao, ciao. I'm standing here with my friend Juan Zambrano. Come over here and say hello, Juan. Here's Hi, serious. everybody. Juan, Juan Zambrano, the one and only guy to take when you need to go somewhere in Monta. Anytime you guys want. Yeah. Now Thank get you. Out of here. <laughs>